Hey guys, it's Annabelle from the Free M's on Motherhood. Monday, where I talk about my journey to getting married, and after an abysmal weekend of disappointment, I'm back on the fitness trip. And this week, to my home gym, I am adding resistance bands. You already saw it in the thumbnail. So, how has the journey been going? Nothing has fucked up my routine at the, at yet, but I'll just have to say to Better Gym, I'm not going to mention the locations. Your rules are un bloody reasonable i am thankful that i've been able to do a gym and swim straight after but i want dignity when i take my clothes off i choose where i take my clothes off and who sees my body and i don't choose for the swimmers to see me naked so god knows what's going to happen tomorrow but i just thought i have to bend that off so so far i've been able to get the hours in on the exercise as i promised i'm going to step it up and be good to myself regards to with regards to fitness i am going to get bloody fit it's expensive though building a home gym is friggin expensive oh there's so much i need to get to be to have no excuses once i reach my fitness goal in maintaining it especially if another pandemic comes along or another lockdown <laughs> so I'm gonna try these resistance bands when I get home and put a little update on the story to see how it goes. Okay, um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week already. Um, also, I have some fantastic fitness books. Ah, fitness nutrition book, fitness diet books. And it's really expensive. What I do need is a smoothie maker but at the moment I'll chunk that fruit whole but it helps when you're on the go it really does help it's when you have a quick smoothie whether milk smoothie or fruit smoothie I am flipping feeling <laughs> I don't know what else to say with the nutrition I'm I guess whenever I go on this fitness kick that hold your breath and brace yourself feeling goes over me because I know it's he hella restrictive and the food group I don't want to give up on is carbohydrates which is rice pasta bread oats flour all of that I don't want to give up on it but to get to this goal to burn off the excess body fat and to maintain that muscle, do I have to give up carbs? Do I? I get the results, but it's just that moment where you have to slowly introduce it and your body craves the carbs. So I'm thinking this time around, I'm not gonna give up carbs. I'm gonna work extra hard with the exercise. So I'm gonna try this thing called eat the same, move a hell of a lot more. Before it was eat less, move more. Restrict the calories in the food group. So now I'm gonna eat the same over the next three months, but move more. What the fuck am I gonna, oh, language. Yeah, so what am I gonna do at, in the evenings? I might have to upgrade my membership so that I can swim in the evenings and get more other workouts during the day. So yes, I'm super happy with myself. The first week of going to the gym has been fantastic. Some little strange goings on, tiny strange goings on, but I just have to block it out and just get with the goal, focus on the goal. I believe when I go to the sports center, I'm in a sports center to use the facilities. It is a bit annoying having to book and that apprehensive, pessimistic emotions and feelings and thoughts that wave over me when it comes to booking. I don't need anything getting in the way of my hours. You know what I did try and do to combat that? I brought this, but it's not compatible with my notebook. So, Anyone out there want to swap a Chromebook for a Windows netbook or notebook? Yes. 11 inch 
screen maximum. Feel free to comment, feel free to DM via social media online and feel free to like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright guys, take care.